Hey guys, welcome back to our tutorials here on NTEX DMXs. I'm David Henry from LearnStageLighting.com and in this video we're going to talk about macros in DMXs, what in the world they are, and how in the world you use them. So if you've been in DMXs, you may have noticed this button right here. It says macros right next to the preset manager. And you may have wondered, what the heck does that do? Because in our ordinary life, you may hear the word macro used in different ways for different things, whether it be in computers or other lighting consoles. And you're like, what the heck is a macro? Well, in DMXs, macros are simply um, a set of tools that are built within the program that enable you to do things faster. So they actually encompass a lot of different portions of the console and different things you can do so that that might be a little confusing so let's just dive into what you can do we're going to click on it and this menu pops up it says channel max masks chases colors fan fixture setup global edits select shapes and utility and i just want to run through basically all of these are just simply shortcuts so we don't, this is nothing super complicated. This is nothing, uh, you know, that requires a PhD to understand. But really, these are all just shortcuts that are built into DMXs to help you as you work through things. So, for example, the first one, channel masks, you can disable or enable channels. And um, I'm not going to go over this right now because in our next video, I'm going to focus completely on channel masks. But let's talk about chases. Here it says intelligent chase. Now you see I need to select some channels. So let's just select the colored channels of these four bars. First I'll uh, bring up the dimmers all the way. But then I'm going to bring up the colored channels, selecting them one color at a time. I'll put them at 50%. And now I click this intelligent chase and you can see all of the parts are chasing. I've just activated an oscillator program. As you can see if I click on one of the channels it dials that in. And so all, all that macro did was it was just a shortcut to build this chase in the oscillator. So let's look at some other ones. We can turn that off. Bring these back up little bit. Here we've got colors. These are awesome when you're programming because instead of having to bring up the faders, the red, green, and blue, and, and try to figure out what color you need, you can just go over here, go, oh, I need a midnight blue. Boom. You click it. Look at that. It has dialed that in on your fixtures via the macro. You can also say, oh, make it a little brighter. Press that brightness plus. And then the, the macro you just used shows up here at the top of the macro. So you're like, okay, just want a little more of that. And you just keep creeping that up until you get it where you want it. Now, fan is pretty cool because a fan setting I want to show you here. Let me zero these out and take them to full. Is when you take a bunch of channels that you're controlling and you apply a nice curve to the value and so while it's a little hard to understand looking just here in the console it basically gives you a pretty complicated look really easily so we can click that macro click fan fan selected channels oh, sorry about that deselect and we'll just, just select this top row and now go to fan Oh, that's right. So in DMXs, the fan function works like this. You select the first channel, put that to full. The last channel, keep it down low like that, like it's at 5, could be at 0. And now we can hit that fan, boom, and it adjusts everything in the middle. And so you can grab a bunch of lights and all of a sudden make some really cool looks. For example, Let's try this again. I want to show you something here. We could do a basically a center-based fan. 
So we'll bring that one to zero. We'll bring this one to full. And so now we're going to go here. We're going to fan. We're going to go here. We're going to click fan. And now if this was a bunch of of park hands on your stage, say this was the center one, this was left, this was right. Now you get the center one at no intensity, slowly bringing up the brightness towards the edges. So that that's some of the cool effect that fan can do. Um, some other things here, fixture setup you see here. This is when you're patching your fixtures in here. You know, you're, you're right clicking on your faders and you're selecting them out of the fixture library. Here, if you have a bunch of one type of fixture, you can use the uh, repeat last fixture or unload fixtures if you if you have a bunch you want to get rid of you can select those channels and get rid of them pretty quickly um, you can also copy channels which is very nice um, if you're changing some programming up quick selection tool again selecting all of the the moving the pan tilt channels or the RGB this is again just a macro that that's enabling you inside of DMX's here to have some shortcuts to be able instead of just having to click on every pan tilt and double click on each fixture to select it you can select all of them very quickly and then you could put them you know in a chase or there's these shapes here um, like a circle diamond figure eight and so these are oscillators right here let me show you I oh, actually don't have any pan tilt channels, so let me patch one. Patch a Chave. Cute wash LED. So I'm going to grab my pan, my tilt, and we're going to put it in a shape. So here, we're putting it in a circle, and now we've activated that oscillator preset. Again, that, that creates in your oscillator the shape you're looking for and so it's a quick easy way to build that effect without really having to know what you're doing I mean, honestly in the oscillator it's great um, and it, it's real helpful when you're programming then in utility here you can reset the oscillator you can zero channels etc and so I hope this was helpful to you in beginning to really understand the macros in DMX's and what they do and in the next video, we're going to talk about channel masking and how you're absolutely going to love it. It might sound a little intimidating at first, a little complicated. You might be like, I don't know why I need that. But just join me in the next video, and I'll share with you what it can do with you for you, how it can help, and uh, why you should be using it in your show. I'll see you guys over there.